Well, it looks like a happy new year. You're back top of the Premier League with three points to spare. Were you surprised how things have happened this week with Manchester United losing back-to-back games? I'm surprised because we lost against Sunderland. I'm surprised this. But uh, I think generally it's very hard because uh, to play every three days is difficult. And uh, every game uh, is hard and uh, everything can happen. Did you hope though you, at this stage of the season that you would again have a lead, that you would be three points clear? Well, we are on the top uh, from the start of the season. I think that we deserve this until now. But you know, season is long. It will be hard for every team. It's a very big game on Sunday. I know you're hoping to have Colo and Yaya both available. What's the situation at the moment, Roberto? The situation is that we try to ask uh, with the manager, our coach manager, and because they have a meeting in Paris Saturday, uh, we try to ask us if Colo and Yaya can stay till, uh, till Sunday. And Sunday they go to Abu Dhabi because they have uh, a pre. Uh, they have a training for two weeks in Abu Dhabi before uh, African Cup. And we are waiting the answer. Are you confident? I mean, I know you know the manager of the Ivory Coast, he's a friend of yours. I hope that he can understand this because uh, they have a meeting Saturday afternoon in Paris and they arrive 24 after. I, I hope that, uh, but I don't know <laughs> this. With Yaya going, I know I've played in Colo as well, but you have defensive cover. Yaya is such an important player. Is this an opportunity for Owen Hargreaves? What, what, what's the situation with him? How, how fit is oh, he? Oh, and uh, in the last week uh, he worked with the team always without problem. Uh, it's clear that Owen is not uh, yeah, yeah in this moment. Uh, and also because Owen needs uh, to, to play, he needs to, to work. I hope that uh, he can be ready to play one game or I don't know, it depends on him. We know there's an ongoing situation of course with Carlos Lopez. He's spoken to AC Milan. We're told he's talking to Inter Milan today. Would, would, would that be I don't, I don't know the situation today, no, but I hope, uh, I hope for him uh, that uh, he can close with uh, one team uh, in this week because it's, uh, now is three months that he you know, play, uh, doesn't play. I think that is correct that he can be to play. Would his departure make you think about bringing somebody else in? Would, would that be <laughs> Uh, hey, but just for Sunday, we have, uh, I think, 17 players. We, we, I don't feel that we arrive 18 on the bench. Uh, because uh, Garrett is uh, suspended. Uh, yeah, yeah, Colo. Uh, uh, Mario is injured. Uh, Samir, with, uh, what yesterday, was better, but uh, I don't know. Uh, What's the situation with Mario? Is it an, an Mario is, yeah, his uncle. Before Sunderland. How important a game is Sunday, bearing in mind, you know, 6 1, bearing in mind you beat them in the FA Cup semi final? No, but this is a FA Cup. <laughs> For us, it's important because we won last year, you want to go in the final if it's possible. But, you know, it's a, it's a difficult game because when there is a derby, always difficult. But in this moment, maybe more because they are angry uh, after two defeats. Uh, I think that. Uh, they, they are very strong after uh, after defeat. Uh, for this reason, I think that will be a very tough game. Sir Alex will expect a reaction from his players. I think you'll expect one from his players too. Does it make it an easier situation that you're playing? No, against I, I think that we had a, a reaction after Sunderland. Also, I think that against Sunderland we decided to to win, but we had a reaction against Liverpool. I think, I think that it was not easy that game because Liverpool in this moment is a really strong team, really strong team. They conceded only 15 goals before us. But uh, for Sunday, you know, a derby, United come after two defeat, uh, uh, after the first game that we play in, in championship. Uh, I think there are a lot of things in, in this game. The final point from me, they're the champions, you're top. Do you see anyone other than Manchester City or Manchester United 
we were going to win this Premier League title. Yes, I think that in this moment, uh, City, United, and Tottenham can win this title. Yeah. Between those three teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just to be clear on the injury news, uh, you mentioned obviously the sickness and suspension, but Balotelli, what's the situation? He could play or is it doubt? I don't think, I don't think, no. Because uh, he had a problem the day uh, before Sunderland, in the end of the training, and now he's uh, four days, five days, uh, it doesn't work. And you're happy with the way Edin been leading the line with... No, no, I'm happy. I can say that also if uh, Edin didn't score uh, in the last game, but uh, against uh, Liverpool, he, he was really strong. He, he, play, he played in the works for, for the team. And this, is, for me, is very important. And I am sure that uh, Edin restart to score very, very quickly. What kind of game are you expecting against Manchester United, considering the two defeats they've had, considering the way that you play the Etihad? This is one game. <laughs> I think that they play to win. Uh, they are a strong team, they are a good team, they are good players. Uh, screen in this moment they have a lot of injury. But also yesterday they had a good team on the pitch. Uh, the same for us. Uh, I think that we want to win this game. Uh, and you know that Manchester United are dangerous after the defeat, but did you see in that no, performance lots of reasons why you should be positive? No, I think that the United has uh, uh, one thing very positive because they are very strong. Their mentality is very strong because after one or two defeat, they are, for them is like uh, was not happened, and they start to to play strong to win a game uh, like against us. After us, they won eight games uh, or seven games in a row, eight games uh, and one draw after us. For this reason, I think that they are very dangerous always. And how do you keep your fans level? Because many want ten goals now on Sunday after what happened at Old Trafford. Very expected. It's, uh, for us, uh, it's important to win. Also, we don't goal. It's not important one nil, two nil. It's important to win this game. And a final point: Are you very happy with everything in terms of top of the league now, despite the very busy January you have ahead and the, the Tories may be missing? Everything going as well as you could hope. I think that we can have a problem in January. We can have a problem because uh, yeah, yeah, is an important player for us. Uh, we call is different because we have eight defenders, and there, if we are lucky, we don't have injury, we don't have a player. Uh, uh, I don't think that we can have a big problem with the defenders, but with midfield we have a big problem, I think, because for Sun for Sunday we have only two, James and uh, Nigel. Well, that's a, sorry, what will you find out about? Whether Kolo and Yaya can stay? I think today. Today or tomorrow we know if they can rest. When, when did you last lose three matches in a row as a manager? I don't remember. I mean, three matches in a row? Yeah. Ferguson has lost two. If you beat him also. Okay. <laughs> Ferguson won also 25 <laughs> trophies. <laughs> No, but it's unusual for a big team to lose three Yeah, matches. you know, but uh, there are some moments that uh, you have a player's injury, difficult moment. After five months, uh, you play every three days. The moment is very hard. Uh, I think there are some situations in football that are very strange. And the FA Cup last year, how important was it for you to win that trophy? So people believed in what you were doing here, the way the club was I think that was was uh, really important for us, for the club, because uh, when you build a new team, uh, it's important to start uh, to win uh, very quickly. Uh, after one one cup, uh, FA Cup or uh, Carling Cup, uh, I think that in that moment you can understand if. Uh, you, you work hard and you are right to, to, to win a FA Cup, you can win a, champion, a championship. Uh, I think that for a team like us, it was a really important FA Cup. 
Roberto, obviously this game's in the FA Cup and there's no Premier League points at stake, but do you think the result could have a bearing on the title race psychologically in terms of if it's United to defeat or if you get or you getting another win in the derby or United obviously making a statement that they're, they're not as bad as they seem at the moment? For me, for uh, Barca's Premier League, uh, it's not important this game. Maybe only psychologically, maybe yes for this, but... They are, they are strong. No, because you, you know you, you you come after two defeat, another defeat maybe could be a problem. But uh, I think that they are very strong for this. Roberto, um, Roberto, there's obviously a great rivalry between City and United, but in the past, in some matches, there have been problems off the pitch um, with the fans, the police. Uh, there's going to be a strong right police presence at the Etihad on Sunday. How important is it that the fans behave the right way? No, I think that it's important that the fans come to watch the game only for this, only to watch a big game between two important teams. I think that for the city of Manchester it's important to have uh, two squads uh, like in this moment. Uh, usually in the past they have only one that won everything. Now <clears throat> Manchester has two important teams uh, in Manchester, in England, in Europe. I think that is a good thing for the city.